Welcome back, everybody, to the next episode of our Blood Mage walkthrough. Um, just to give you an idea of what I've done um, since I recorded the last episode, I came back to the camp, and actually I went to Bodan Fedic. Um, I ended up purchasing... Let me see Something you need? I ended I'm up sure. purchasing I'm... one of the tomes that he sells. Uh, so there should be a tome of arcane technique. I ended up buying that, and it's actually a usable item, so you could use it from, like, potions... Um, I think it was this slot. I used it and it ended up just giving me, I think, one attribute point, which I just ended up putting into more magic, and it also gave me one extra spell point, and I ended up putting that into shock. Uh, I planned on putting in two points, or maybe even three points, into like the lightning uh, line, and then I'm definitely going to put in at least three so I can get Cone of Cold. Um, two pretty strong um, damaging abilities, which I think I'm going to. They're probably going to be a staple for um, at least my rotation when we get higher in level. But um, at this point, also, I gave Sten the painting that we had found when we were in uh, the Red Cliff Castle. I'm just trying to get up some of his uh, his approval because uh, I plan on using him at some point. But let's uh, let's actually continue on with the quest. We're now going to head yes. to uh, Denerim. Because we need to go and find Brother Genitivi, who is, um, uh, I guess, a scholar, is what um, the woman, uh, like the Arlesa and Bantigan were speaking about, that uh, he was doing research to find the urn of sacred ash. Concentrate like we practiced. Uh, this encounter, I don't now, think actually is, fire. like, they're not offensive, like those mages. I think those are, yeah, those mages are on our side. It just looks like there's a dark spawn encounter here. Um, I think if we're, if we're quick uh, enough, spawn, we hey? could potentially do this. Let me see if I can, all right, put down ah! Glyph of Repulsion, and then I'm going to quickly put down the Glyph of Paralysis right on top of that. See if I can do that explosion. Oh, all right, cool. I caught a lot of people with that. Now, see if we can quickly nuke as many of these guys to save these mages. And I think one of them actually just used, like, Earthquake. Because, <laughs> oh, and even Alistair got knocked out. <laughs> all right, let's see if we can take down this guy. Come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Those mages didn't die. Oh, can I not heal? Oh man, I don't think I can heal. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a good start in the episode. I already failed. <laughs> already lost an ally. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, so much for that. I guess when you're playing on the harder difficulty, it's going to be even more difficult to save a squishy ally. Oh, darn it. Well, all right, friends. If you end up getting into this encounter, I hope you have better luck than I do. But, all right, let's just loot these guys, and then we'll keep going on. Just so that way we can um, continue on to Denerim. You know, maybe this isn't the best time to be thinking about this, but I have something to ask you. Seeing as we're in Denerim now, I'm wondering if we might be able to look someone up. I'm not talking about a friend, exactly. And no, it's not that sort of friend either. The thing is, I have a sister, a half-sister. I told you about my mother, right? She was a servant at Redcliffe Castle and she had a daughter. Only, I never knew about her. I don't think she knew about me either. They kept my birth a secret after all. But after I became a great warden, I did some checking and, well, I found out she's still alive in Denerim.
She's the only real family I have left. The only family not also mixed up in the whole royal thing. I've just been thinking that maybe it's time I went to see her. With the blight coming and everything, I, I don't know if I'll ever get another chance to see her. Maybe I can help her. Warn her about the danger, I don't know. Could we? I'd appreciate that. If something happened to her and I never went to at least see her, I don't know if I could forgive myself. Her name is Goldana, and I think she remarried but still lives just outside the alienage. If we're in the area, then, well, it's worth a look. All right. Uh, so now actually would be a good time to see if we could give him... There you go. His mother's this, amulet. This is my mother's amulet. It has to be. But why isn't it broken? Where did you find it? Oh, the Arl study? Then he must have found the amulet after I threw it at the wall. And he repaired it and kept it. I don't understand. Why would he do that? I guess you could be right. We never really talked that much. And then the way I left. Thank you. I mean it. I thought I'd lost this to my own stupidity. I'll need to talk to him about this if he recovers from his... When he recovers, that is. I wish I'd had this a long time ago. Did you remember me mentioning it? Wow. I'm more used to people not really listening when I go on about things. Oh man, do I want to do a relationship with this guy? <laughs> Sorry, did you? Hang on, did you say something? Alright, I guess we're going to do this. I'll do the good, like a, a noble kind of thing with Alistair. I don't know what to say. You're special to me too. Thank you again. Ooh. All right, whatever. Let's keep going. <laughs> uh, I didn't really plan on doing any kind of romance in this, but um, I don't know. I guess we'll take a look. Work of our maker's All right, now we get to turn into the Channers board and see what... Wow, there's a lot of... Okay, there's a lot of things we can pick up. Let's pick up all these things. And since I did level up, let's go ahead... Let's just put more points into magic, and I think uh, I think I might actually just want to go ahead and either pick death hex. So every um, every time the enemy gets hit with this, it becomes a critical hit. So that's really good for some pumping out some good damage. Um, but also, I think I might want to start doing blood mage. Yeah, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna start pick the first thing of blood magic. Alrighty. And now, since we ended up uh, defeating, or not defeating, excuse me, we ended up stopping those adventurers, uh, we can now go talk to the Mages Collective and get some money. The Mages Collective thanks you. Make us smile upon you. Thank you. I'll take that. That's one of the guards. We'll talk to him after this. But here is actually Wade's Emporium. This is where you can actually get um, some pretty decent armor. Um, but first, let me see. There's something back there. Let's see what I can lockpick or loot this. Oh, I can. Sweet. What now? Um, okay, here, when you talk to Heron, um, Wade as well, he's the blacksmith. Heron, this is Heron's shop, or at least I think he just runs the shop. Um, if you end up talking about the drake scales that you find, you can craft special armor in order to get like the best armor at the end of it when you actually defeat a high dragon and you have high dragon scales um, for Wade's superior set, you need to pay for it twice. So uh, I don't even know if I have that much money. Okay, uh, I think the first set that you use, you have to pay 10 sovereigns so 10 gold for it which we do have that so let's go ahead and do that actually welcome friends welcome to wade's emporium we have the finest armors in denerum maybe in all of ferelden how may we assist you no uh, no he can't did i hear right you 
You are a woman. You, you have Drake scales. Look at this, Haren. It's real. Some never see a single scale in their lives. I must make this. Tell the uh, customer, is it? I'll drop everything to work on this immediately. It will take however long it takes. Don't rush the masterpiece, my good lady. Yes, yes, that's right. It could take months, years even. You should just leave. It won't take that long, Heren. Unless, unless I did some inlays of, oh, I know. Yes, it wouldn't be complete without the, uh, inlays. Of course, the customer would have to agree. Excellent. You won't regret it. Think of the possibilities, Heren. Think of it. I'm trying to stop. <laughs> okay. You're here about your order. I've barely even begun and... Go oh. get back to work. All right, let's just see what he has for sale. Uh, no weapons, just armor. Oh, that's another thing. Um, I actually, I went to Red Cliff. I went back to Owen. And uh, because we ended up rescuing his daughter. And I wanted to get the diligence set, the armor set there. Um, just because I'm going to end up giving it to Sten. So I ended up purchasing the boots of diligence. And I was also... I was playing some of the DLC, the Golems of Ag Amgarok, or whatever it is. Um, and I just ended up getting, as you see, like this accessory. And I think I got like a sash or something like that just for, for beating it. Um, so that's that's obviously where these come from. But if you don't have it, I mean, I'm going to try not to use some of the items that um, are not accessible to the folks that don't have the DLC. I just don't think that's fair. Or I just don't think that, you know, um, I don't know. It's not going to not going to help you all if I'm using items that's that you don't my have. sister's house I'm almost sure of it this is yes this is the right address she could be inside could we go and see will she even know who I am does she even know I exist my sister that sounds very strange sister sister hmm oh now I'm babbling maybe we should go let's go Let, let's just go all right, at this point, um, I am, depending on how you answer this, you can actually harden Alistair to make him more acceptable, like accepting of sometimes some questionable decisions or just some kind of darker choices if you make that. Uh, I believe you have to harden Alistair in order to get one of the endings. Um, I don't want to spoil too much, but I'm going to end up hardening him just by one of my answers of like basically changing how he sees the world. Um, I don't know, it's almost like it's going to help him mature, because right now he's very, like, naive and, I don't know, very kid-like at times. But let's go ahead and talk to Goldana. Uh, hello? Hey, you have linens to wash? I charge three bits on a bundle. You won't find better. And don't trust what that Natalia woman tells you either. She's foreign and she'll rob you blind. I'm not here to have any wash done. <laughs> uh, my name's Alistair. I'm, well, this may sound sort of strange, but, are you Goldana? If so, I suppose I'm your brother. My what? I am Goldana, yes. How do you know my name? What kind of tomfoolery are you folk up to? Look, our mother, she worked as a servant in Redcliffe Castle a long time ago before she died. D do you know about that? She... You! I knew it! They told me you was dead! They told me the babe was dead along with mother, but I knew they was lying. They told you I was dead? Who? Who told you that? Them's at the castle. I told them the babe was the king's and they said he was dead. Gave me a coin to shut my mouth and sent me on my way. I knew it. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. The babe didn't die. I'm him. I'm your brother. <sighs> For all the good it does me. You killed mother, you did, and I've had to scrape by all this time. That coin didn't last long, and when I went back, they ran me off. And who in the Maker's name are you? Some elf to follow him about and carry his riches for him? Hey, don't speak to her that way. She's my friend and a Grey Warden, just like me. Oh, I see. A prince and a Grey Warden, too. 
Well, who am I to think poorly of someone so high and mighty compared to me? I don't know you, boy. Your royal father forced himself on my mother and took her away from me. And what do I got to show for it? Nothing. They tricked me good. I should have told everyone. I got five mouths to feed. And unless you can help with that, I got less than no use for you. I... I'm sorry, I... don't know what to say. Yes, it really seems that way, doesn't it? I wasn't expecting my sister to be so... I'm starting to wonder why I came. I don't know why you came either, or what you expected to find. But it isn't here. Now get out of my house, the both of you. I agree. Let's get out of here. Well, that was not what I expected, to put it lightly. This is the family I've been wondering about all my life. That shrew is my sister? I can't believe it. I, I guess I was expecting her to accept me without question. Isn't that what family is supposed to do? I, I feel like a complete idiot. Okay, so now this is the, where you can actually harden Alistair. So if you select everyone's out for themselves, you should learn that. He's actually going to take a, a different stance on life and I guess his outlook on a bunch of things from here on out. So that's what I'm going to end up doing. Yes, I suppose you're right. I should. Let's just go. I don't want to talk about this anymore. There we go. Sure, he does lose like one approval from you. Um but still, I mean, I think the it definitely outweighs um, <laughs> any of that, you know, negative approval. Just from uh, a story standpoint. But let's I finished. use Liliana. Let's keep let's keep looting. Book. Uh, there is an item I do want to buy. If you have coin, welcome to. Right. If not, move along. To... Oh yeah. So if you talk to Caesar, I don't know if he has. Oh, he doesn't. Not just yet. Okay. Um, so in order to access a lot of like the other special um, inventory that this guy has, you just need to continue with um, the trial of the crows, which is actually given by Master Ignacio or Ignacio here. He's actually one of like the. I don't know. He's an Antivan crow, and he's the one who actually gives out the assassination contracts. Uh, I believe you need to completely finish out all the assassination contracts before um, you come back to Caesar, and he'll actually allow you to see like special You're stuff. Back. You need some. I don't know. Now with war yeah, and nothing else. Okay, but there's there's a helmet I want to buy from there that'll actually go pretty well with the uh, with the diligence set. Uh... There's also Sir Laundry is going to end up trying to fight us. But let's go over, I guess, let's talk to Sergeant Kylan first. There's a bunch of quests in this area. We're going to end up doing them all. We're going to get a lot of money from this and a lot of experience. So I want to make sure I'm thorough. You here to report another crime? I swear we should just cordon off the entire district. Oh, uh, can I help you, Warden? Your likeness was passed around to the senior guardsman at the palace. I must say, the sketch didn't do you much justice. Uh, don't worry, even if I believed the official story of what happened at Ostagar, I'm no fool. If I asked my men to apprehend you, they'd all run and cry big sobby tears in their courtesans' bosoms and leave me all alone to be skewered. Don't disturb the peace in the market, and that's well enough for me. <laughs> what? You're serious? I mean, yes, yes, I could use help. I've got a pretty popular, uh, establishment that's crawling with mercenaries. If I send my boys in, someone might get, make a forbid, hurt, and I'll have to explain to their noble fathers that being a guard is actually dangerous. Do a good job, and I'll see you get some silver in your pockets, maybe even some gold. The name of the whorehouse is the Pearl. Beat down any mercenaries that are out of line and send them a message. I said beat down, not kill. 
Let me make that really clear. Not on fire, or exploded, or make a nose, whatever type of grisly death you can dream up. Sorry. Used to giving orders to my boys. Just leave them breathing and I'll be happy. Thank you, Warden. Happy hunting. Alright. Not bad. Now... Let's go over and see this poster. Um, this is also going to be part of like the assassination quest line. You just need to learn of these lies. Of these lies. <laughs> you need to learn of a phrase. I just read the, the text. <laughs> Alright, so the text is the Griffins will rise again. There's an assassination um, contract and uh, you need to know that last line, the Griffins will rise again in order to actually get into the room. But now let's go talk to Sir Laundry here, or be confronted. I recognize you from Ostagar, and trust this blood. You're a Grey Warden, Duncan's apprentice. You killed my friend, and good King Caelan. I demand satisfaction, sir. So you would compound slander on top of treason. You dare smear Terran Loghain's word? I do not like your tone, sir. But you may be right. I may regret this, but I cannot duel someone who may be guiltless. Leave, Warden. If I find proof, we will meet again. I mean, if you don't end up um, convincing him uh, that... You know, we're not responsible. The Grey Wardens aren't responsible for what happened at Ostagar. You'll actually end up dueling him in a back alley, um, just like a one-on-one, -on -one, or you can actually be uh, without honor and just attack with your whole party. But uh, I don't think there's really much oh, the else here. I haven't been here in ages. So the Wonders of Theta shop. This is actually a pretty pretty cool shop. It's nothing but mage equipment. Um, has rings i mean there's also like stabs um armor or, like robes you can buy it's some good stuff for in here i don't think there's much else that we can get for codex or that's just some experience points yes make it quick oh okay uh, i forgot that we picked up this from the collective so there's going to be a bunch of uh, apprentices that we need to go find and tell them that they're no longer in his service Strange. Let's see this. I knew it. I gave that man the best seven weeks of my life. Well, I guess he won't have me to push around anymore. <laughs> Welcome to the wonders of Thedas. We carry items crafted by the Circle, as well as a variety of antiquities. Is there anything you would like to see? Uh, Winter's Breath, that's pretty decent. I mean, it's not the best staff. I mean, you could buy that. Uh, let's see what else they got. I have used Reaper's Vestments before. Um, I've used that for, like, a Blood Mage. But I would say, like, Tabinter Mage Robes, that's definitely a good one. Like, a good substitute, just because it does give you the plus five spell power. Um, uh, Willpower, Magic, and Defense. All right, I guess we won't buy any of that just yet. I don't want to give that to anybody else. Uh, I don't think there's... There you go. There's a Tome of Arcane Technique. I mean, if you use this, you'll get one spell, uh, one spell point, uh, as well as, like, one attribute point to use, but then, you know, that that's it. So it's just a good way in case you want to get more, more uh, spells or abilities. Uh there's much else all right let's let's head out what oh here you go um we ended up picking up the small painted box uh when i believe when we were attacked by zevran and now we'll just give this in and then we get some money for it oh cool and wind leveled up of course all right, for for win, um, in order to really build a good healer, um, you do want to focus on magic, but also I, I tend to focus a lot more on willpower. Um, 
just because as a, as a healer, I want to make sure that she does have a lot of mana. Um, yeah, because she's, you know, I really just try to make her um, just strictly focus on healing. So that way she doesn't just do attacks. I don't, I don't think that's a good use of her mana. Um, so having a high uh, mana pool is definitely, definitely what you need to do for, for a healer, in my opinion. But now we found Brother Genitivi's home. Let's go in. Uh, sorry, I think, I'm, I think I might be getting a cold. All right, there's a book. Before we talk to this guy, let's go in the back. Uh, book. Uh, you could end up talking to this guy, um, but he actually is not who he seems to be. He's an imposter. Yes. What are you doing here? Brother Genitivi, why? He was on the trail of the urn of sacred ashes, yes. Whether he found it, the maker only knows. I haven't seen Brother Genitivi in weeks. He sent no word. It's so unlike him. I'm afraid something has happened. Genitivi's research into the urn may have led him into danger. Perhaps the urn has been lost for a reason. I pray for Genitivi's safety, but hope dwindles with each passing day. I, I tried to send help, but some knights came from Redcliffe looking for him not long ago. I sent them after Genitivi, and they too have disappeared. Now don't ask me where they went. You'll go after them. And what if ill luck should befall you too? This search is a curse on all of us. Some things are, are not meant to be found. I know that now. So be it. All he said before he left was that he would be staying at an inn near Lake Kalinhard, investigating something in that area. I don't know. All I discovered from going through his research was that he was staying at the inn. Y yes of course he told me, but I also went through his things to see if I could find other clues to his whereabouts. That's n not true. I told you everything I know. Brother Ginny TV told us, t told me about the inn, and that's all. Us? I mean me. There is no us. Bah! Why do I keep up this charade? I gave you a chance to turn aside and forget you ever heard of Ginny TV and the urn, but you persisted. Now it has come to this. And just they forgive me, I do this in your name. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. All right. Uh, there we go. Now, as you can see, he's he's not who he. <laughs> he's really not who he says he is, but he's actually. Oh shoot! He's a mage too. Let's just quickly take him down. If you please, I need to speak with you. <laughs> oh, that's it freeze bump all right so when you go in the back here you'll actually see that you know he was full of crap and this is the real Waylon I guess the real assistant to brother Jenna TV um, and let's go in the chest Jenna TV's research um, Haven seems like a good place to start so that's where we're gonna go next and then steal symbol of Andraste it's a gift that you could actually just end up giving to Liliana oh how dear of there we go. Alrighty. Now, uh, at this point, I think I'm going to try to go back. Dwarven uh, trap. Or go to the inn right near Lake Callanhad. I mean, we will. I'll take care of the other quests that are in this area. Don't worry. Um, it's not like I'm going to completely forego them. But let's just go ahead. And after much sweat, blood, and blood. And there we go. Get some more money. They are sinners who have given their love to false gods. And now I think as soon as you approach this is when you actually can unlock like the trials of the, of the crows. I think. Just kidding. <laughs> All right. Uh, 
He said it was near the Lake Callahad Dock. So let's go there first, actually. Uh, this is part of another companion quest line. I'll come back and do that um, in a little bit. It's actually for Sten because I was talking to him a little bit. But make her rest the souls of all Templar and Mage who right. gave their lives defending. <laughs> Carry on. May they find peace at last. All right, let's go into. Isn't that the point? Someone else's imagination. I don't remember those mages being there. Just players in a play. Ah, oh, crap. I'm trapped. You, I, everything. All right, let's go into the, the Spoiled Princess. We'll go in. And... Can I go in the back? I can't go in the back. Good day, and welcome to the Spoiled Princess. Is there something I can get for you? Brother Jim... No, uh, no, of course not. I've never heard of him. Who? Listen, the person you're looking for isn't here. You should be on your way as soon as possible. They're watching me. I can't speak openly. Don't! Don't look around and keep your voice down. They're looking for anyone asking for this brother Genetivi. They told me to act like nothing's wrong and just deny ever having seen the brother or the knights. I don't know. You should be on your guard and leave quickly. I don't know what happened to the knights, but I doubt it was anything good. Goodbye and make her turn his gaze on you. It's it's done. Well, clearly there's some. What are you looking at? Can a man drink in peace? Some what are nasty you stuff going on. Good day. Uh, let's talk to the innkeeper. Welcome back to the spoiled princess. How may I serve you today? All right, uh, never mind. Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, I oh. couldn't remember this part. Oh, but hey, at least we get a... <laughs> at least we get um, one of those Templars to help us. All right, so it looks like talking to... Um, Talking to the innkeeper, um, that just triggered all these cultists to try to take us out because we're searching for Brother Genitivi. Let's just see if we can put these guys down. Nothing but excitement traveling. Huh. You forced our hand. Let's make this quick. Oh, I am far too old for this. And I'm off. Come and get it! Huh. As you wish. We must strike, quickly. Oh, cool. Ceremonial armor. And we should just continue our search and uh, go on to the city of Haven. Or the village of Haven. Make her rest the souls of all, Templar and mage, who gave their lives defending okay. the circle. May they find peace at last. Will you stop eating? Now, with this encounter, I mean, you, you can go ahead and, uh, there's two ways you can do this. You can go ahead and attack them, or you can just try to leave. It's really up to you. I don't think there's much here that's, uh, worth, worth really looting, but, you know, I do want to get a little bit more experience points, so. Oh, I'm hungry. Stuff your face at camp. For now, watch the bloody road. But we've been looking at the road for hours. No travelers all day. Will one of you pay attention? <laughs> Let's just keep this Oi, who's that? Time for more practice. Oh, all right. Well, I guess we could have. 
we could have done something, something about it. Uh, actually, tell you what, let's assign this. So I don't always have to keep going in. Uh, I tried to be merciful. Uh. Yes. Let's do it quickly, uh. shall we? Uh. Uh, good idea. Especially with any kind of AOEs, would be like using affliction hex. Mm. And then now, because everybody in this area that is within that white cone or like that um, that white circle around the bandit leader, they're also going to take more elemental damage. So we can pump it a little bit more. Damage. I just saw like 95. We one shot that uh, that archer. Oh shoot! All right, I'm getting backstabbed. Oh no! Drawing too much aggro here. I may have to heal. Right. Let's put on affliction or vulnerability hex and just drain life. Can't send yeah. life back. Huh. No, don't shoot the barricade. <laughs> Let us end this. Uh, huh. the repulsion, knock him back. Oh right. Blast. Auto attack for the win. Blast it. Fucking bull. Alistair. Oh no, you don't! All right, we're gonna put on blood and, and blood magic. Mm. Uh, we don't have much, much mana left. Uh. Mm. Yeah. All right, and there we go. Oh wait, there's more. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, there they are. Okay. Um. Let's go ahead and put that huh. affliction hex on that guy, uh, and we'll do shock ninety-five. Uh, Not bad. Uh, damage. And I'm off. It's a gusha. <laughs> All right, I think after we end up um, beating these guys, I'm just going to end up cutting it to, like, I'll, I'll just quickly loot all the stuff in this area, and then we're just going to pick up at, uh, at Haven. So I'll see you there, friends. Trap right ahead. All right, now we made it to the village of Haven, and uh, let's go ahead and see if we can find any kind of clues that will lead us toward the urn of sacred ash. What are you doing in Haven? There's nothing for you here. Very you well. may trade for supplies at the shop if you wish. Then I suggest you and your companions leave. Did it just get a lot colder, or is it just me? All right, let's see what we can. Another just like weapon, you wanted. And a longbow. What now? Barbarian mace. That looks. Yeah. I was not like expecting to find Ugh. something so unsettling. Used for food preparation, perhaps? <laughs> I'm just trying to be optimistic. The other explanation is slightly more disturbing. Ugh. This yeah, village is not quite what it seems, is it? <laughs> Let's wipe oh. them out quickly. Right. I don't remember. Having that happen. Uh, this may be a good idea, then we're just gonna end up using the Affliction Hex. And hopefully uh, I can line this up. There you go. Uh, and we can take out a couple of the, uh, let's couple make of the this enemies. Uh, without uh, damaging the uh, guys. I tried to be uh, I never uh, like this part. Uh, oh, I love let's that end this. Uh, 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 Just to be safe, I'll heal really young. Enough! Oh, right. Huh. I mean, this essentially is going to happen all throughout this area. We're going to find more clues as we keep progressing. Um, and uh, it's just going to be a little bit more sinister every, every, <laughs> every time we find more clues as to, like, kind of what's going on in Haven. I think there may be a chest that we can... Yep. 
Yes. Your wish. So, you're female, Liliana, right? I am? That's news. <laughs> when did that happen? I just wanted some advice. What should I do if... If I think a woman is special and... You want to woo her? Here's a good tip. You shouldn't question her about her femaleness. All right, yes, good point. Why do you ask? Are you afraid things will not proceed naturally? Why would they? Especially when I do things like ask women if they're female. It adds to your charm, Alistair. You're a little awkward. It is endearing. So I should be awkward? <laughs> Didn't you just say not to do things like that? Just be yourself. You do know how to do that, don't you? All right. Forget I asked. I don't know. I guess uh, sometimes I'd like, and sometimes I really just dislike Alistair. Um, like I was saying, he's kind of naive and childish at times. But when he's hardened, you know, outside of like that goofy kind of uh, goofy kind of dialogue, I mean, All right. Who I know, seems death? to be a lot. Seems to be a lot better of a character, in my opinion. Let's see, affliction X. Okay, done with you now. Uh. Right then. Uh. 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 All right, that's it. All right, I may have to do a little repulsion to save Alistair. Uh. Yes. Uh. Watch out! Oh, uh. shoot. Oh man, he's... No, he's... It's not gonna be that bad. For a second I thought he was more like a... I don't know, like a lieutenant kind of rank, like a yellow, yellow name. I thought he was gonna do a lot more damage to me. But, alright, cool. So we leveled up Leliana. Let's go loot. Here I am. Uh, let me keep pumping up Dax. I, I do have a bow I want to give her. But also I should... Just try to get some of these passives on. How close are we? Okay. Uh, Alistair's getting close to level 11. He'll be next, I'm assuming. Alright. Now there should be... I think we can go in that store over there, but I think we're just going to keep like continuously being attacked by, by all these cultists in this area. shop i've already started like being attacked yeah i was just gonna say i've been attacked so i don't think the shop now is open to me um which stinks but okay mage's eye that's not bad 34 decks okay liliana doesn't have that uh lock it the antiven leather boots that's a gift for zevran you just need to get his dialogue up a little bit and then he'll actually reference something like that like back to his homeland it's done I don't plan on doing... Okay, there's a Red Cliff Knight here. Arl Eamon's Knights. I finished. I don't know, I just... Like, in terms of, like, Zevran or, like, party members, the really only ones I, I tend to rock out is always having, like, uh, Win just because she's, she's always a healer for me. I mean, that's pretty much a staple of any kind of party composition. Alistair, unless I'm a tank, or like Sten, if I want to try that out. Um, and then I swap out either Leliana or uh, Leliana, Ogren, or Sten, um, depending on what my character is. I really like Sten, though. He's one of my favorite Time characters. For more practice. Oh, which I, I don't really know if a lot of people like him. Yes. Let me put Affliction Hex on this incoming Reaver, because there's another melee guy coming at us. Oops, no. Push them back. Can I get both? Ooh, there we go. Perfect. Ah. Drain his life. Far too old for yeah. Alright, not bad. Not bad. whole town maybe
We are blessed beyond measure. We are chosen by the holy and beloved to be her guardians. This sacred duty is given to us alone. Rejoice, my brethren, and prepare your hearts to receive her. Lift up your voices and despair not, for she will raise her faithful servants to glory when her... Ah, welcome. I heard we had a visitor wandering about the village. I trust you've enjoyed your time in Haven so far. This, my brothers, is what happens when you let an outsider into the village. They have no respect for our privacy. She will tell others of us if we let her. Word will spread, and then what? You, stranger, do not understand our ways. You would bring war to Haven in your ignorance. We don't owe you any explanations for our actions. We have a sacred duty. Failure to protect her would be a greater sin. All will be forgiven. We are not it's, alone. It's uh, kind of an odd way really of thinking about alone. that. Uh, let's put the Affliction Hex on this oh. dude. Then we'll do the Glyph of Repulsion. Hopefully we'll knock oh. everybody back. And... Alright, well it looks like that El Elric... Erlik guy, he died already. Let us end this. Oh, right. And <sighs> Here comes trouble. You should run while you can. Oh, right. Right then. Oh. Eric, I guess. Eric. Yeah, I guess that's how you pronounce it. Eric. Whatever. All right. There's no, I don't think there's really any way around that. I've always gotten into a fight here, um, but you'll end up looting that guy. He has the medallion, which we're going to need. And then, small silver bar. I think you can give that to uh, another one to Zevran. What's next? But, uh, we ended up picking up Ring of Faith. Plus 10 fire damage. Oh. Uh, just important to note, I ended up putting on Sash of the Forbidden Secrets. Uh, this is what I got actually from um, the Golems of Ag Agarok, Amgarok, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, so I'm just wearing that in the meantime. It's, as you saw, it gave me plus 6 magic, plus 6 willpower, and then it improves blood magic, plus 15 mental resistance. Um, probably for like the last boss, or like just closer that we get to harder encounters, I'll take that off and put on like another uh, another belt that you all can get just in the base game who are you they they sent you to finish it yo you're, you're not one of them thank the maker so it seems they take great pains to keep it well hidden I, I uh, oh. the legs not doing so well and I can't feel my foot I can set the leg and ease some of the pain, but he'll need a lot of rest in order to heal. I don't have time to rest now. I'm so close. The urn is just up that mountain. The Arl is sick. Will he live? Politics never did anyone any good. The Arl is a noble soul, but the ashes, the ashes will surely cure him. Haven lies in the shadow of the mountain that holds the urn. There is an old temple there built to protect it. The door is always locked, but I know what that key is. Irik wears a medallion that opens the temple door. I've seen what he does with it. Yes, that is your key. Take me to the mountainside and I will show you. Ah, oh, good. All right, so let's move on. Just need to try to unlock the door. Here we are. Give me the medallion, and let's see if I remember. Yes, yes, you see, it, it can be manipulated, just like this. And there, a key to open the way. Now, where does this go? Open sesame. Yay. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, could yeah. Go. All right, I will be all right. Up. Thanks. You've been a great. Uh, help. Now I need something to write on. All righty. This is magnificent. Let's just go around. There should be more cultists that are going to be around here. As you saw, there's like three on the map. All right, and actually, we just started one of the quests that we're going to end up finishing a little bit later. Uh, it's called the Unbound Quest, and it's actually how you can get the... Um, there's a shield you can get called the Fade Wall, as well as the Keening Blade, which is a, a, a one-handed longsword that I predominantly always use on my tank. Um, th that enemy, Gax Kang, Gavix Kang, something something like that. I'm, I'm really sorry, I don't remember this stuff. Magical. My memory's not that great. <laughs> Um, but you'll end up uh, defeating that uh, I guess he's like a mini boss if you want to call it that but um, it's really good good pieces of uh, weapon and and, uh, and shield you can get from that boss Your but, wish. as you saw we actually just picked up something for um, history of dragon blood um, Wynn is always oh, interested in history so you can just you know continuously to give that to her I always recommend trying to max out your companions' approval, as much, especially the ones that you're going to rock out like your your typical party with, just because the higher their approval, the more they're going to have um, like better stats or like bonuses to like their uh, their primary attribute. So as you saw with Win, I think her primary attribute is willpower. So we definitely want to try to you know bump that up as high as we can. Cryptids, all right, forgotten verses. There's that quest. I think that's just for the um, the mage. Collective scroll of Bannister, and then there should be a chest behind here. Yep. Just like you right. wanted. How much inventory space do I have? Oh wow. Okay, I have a lot of inventory. All right. Don't worry. We will come back to that door. Uh, we just need to get one of the keys, which should be on one of the main enemies up here. Uh, but as you see, we're going to get, not ambushed, but we're going to get attacked by these guys. Affliction. Loot, 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 loot. Let's see what else we get. Now let's see. Oh shoot! Which one Forgot about first? that. <laughs> Forgot about that Bronto. that uh, repulsion correctly. I apologize. I'm, I'm probably not speaking very loudly. My throat kind of hurts today. Um, but I didn't want to I didn't want to waste too much time in not recording. I am ready. Trap right ahead. All right, let's get that. I, I thought I remembered that there was like a tripwire or something. Uh, can I not? Oh, I can't target them from here. There we go. All right, let's do the affliction oh. here. Get him, Alistair! Ah. Dang, 95. That's a lot. Ah. <laughs> Let's get into the fray. Ah. And I'm off. Oh. Make a preserve us. Going. Oh, jeez. Come okay. and get it. Oh, I'm starting to get beat up a little bit. Uh. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. There we 
we go. I need to start working on my constitution. I need to get that up a little bit. Yes. I suppose violence is a solution. Sometimes. Isn't there another? I think there's another enemy that's going to be around that corner. I saw them on the map. Yep, they're they're over there. All right, let's keep looting. Another scroll of banister. That should just be for a quest. Heavy chainmail gloves that were Viridian. I think it was Viridian or Viridium. There should be two mages, I think, around. Yeah, there should be mages in here. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I just missed. Darn. Okay. Hey, watch it. There you go. And I'm off. <laughs> Man, that was so cheap. I placed it like, oh shoot, I keep messing around too much. I placed that uh, that glyph like perfectly. Oh, jeez. Right. I, I need to start. Stop messing around so much. Can I get there? It's like, I need to get at least four of them on there. I need to also heal out. So, jeez, man, we're getting swarmed. I didn't think. Oh! Oh! Oh, man. Oh no. Right. Saving the day. All right, good. Alistair at least leveled up. We need to go into blood yes. mage mode so I can start getting my health because I have no mana. Now let's go ahead. Sorry, Alistair, you're probably gonna get hit by this. Yeah, that's right. What did I tell you? Make a preserve. Oh man, that was close. Oh crap! Come on, Alice. Yes. All right, that was a little dicey. Uh, Winter's grasp it says there's there's another mirage around here. Oh. Oh right. Have that. Oh. All right. Well, that like I said, that got a little. Whew, that got a little dicey there for a minute. Uh, I thought I was gonna. I thought I was gonna go down. Luckily, I have enough healing items, and I've been able to pretty much steamroll through a lot of this stuff. So I guess I what now? I'm getting a little too cocky yeah. there. I need to calm down. All right, let's keep leveling up strength so we can get that as high as we can. And I just got awesome. He has 42 strengths now, or at least right now he has the highest strength for the massive armors. Um, and I was able to pick up taunt for Alistair. So that way, let me see. I get tactics. Let's make him aggressive. Make him a defender. Ooh. Yeah, let's do shield pummel. That's good. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's keep moving on. And this actually, like the um, haven, or like this this temple, it's actually quite large. Um, so it's probably going to take me a while. I may end up just splitting this up into two uh, two episodes just because it, it is a decent amount of time. And I don't want this to be too long of an episode. All right, cool. We got the key. Um, so now we can actually go ahead to that locked room that was down one of the first hallways that we went. Open it up, and I think there's just like a, a, a main hall key I think we need um, from there. So that way we can just keep progressing as well as I think there's two other locked chests in there um, that we, we're going to have to use Leliana. There's a mage down there. Oh, shit. Uh, let's do Misdirection Hex. Oh, nothing but a okay, that did not work. I don't know if Misdirection Hex actually works on... Oh, no, I'm going to die. Yes. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, shoot, Alistair went down. I need to let me heal you. Huh. Wow, man, I'm doing terrible this episode. My apologies, guys. Going. But I don't know. I guess at least that's been my experience playing on the harder difficulties. Like it, in in the drop of a hat, you know, you could just huh. easily Going. die, um, or your party could completely wipe. Oh, right. Huh. <gasps> ah. Yes. 
Oh, okay. I promise I know what I'm doing, I swear. <laughs> Alistair here. Uh, all right, let's... Very well. Injury. I don't ever typically use Alistair. Mm -hmm. I should, but... Like, in terms of, um... So it's, at least it has the uh, abilities on. Uh, Your wish. Switch over. Let's go ahead and unlock that door. I finished. There we go. Awesome. Let's get the key. Main hall key. Right on. It's let's unlock these chests. Done. Scale boots. I, I Magic staff. And now we can go ahead and head back. Go to the right. There should be um, a piece of an armor set over here that we're going to need. Um, it's actually the Diligence set. Yep, Armor of Diligence. I'm actually going to be giving that to Sten. Um, I love that armor set. It's pretty decent. Um, so, it's at least in my opinion, it's good for a warrior. Definitely good for a warrior. All right, tell you what, friends. I'm actually probably going to end the episode here just because we went through a decent amount of stuff, and I don't want it to, to go too long. So then the next part um, for the temple in Haven that we're going to be looking for the sacred ashes, this is where we're actually we're going we're gonna to pick it up from here. So I appreciate you all watching, and I'll see you in the next episode, friends. All right, take care.